Hey everyone, welcome back. Now I tried to get into that house <clears throat> and to jump up the, up that platform to the top of that ruined house. I had no luck whatsoever, <clears throat> so I've given up on it. But anyway, let's do, I think this is maybe the last, I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, let London here, shall we? Lovely day for it. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it here, does it? I thought we could stroll along the shoreline. I can't. Or we could stay right here. I can't leave him. I know you want me to. If he's not right in the head... He needs me. He loves me in his own way. Do you need him? Don't be clever. I don't want to remember you as merely clever. Remember me? We can't do this anymore. I, I found a hardware shop. Fantastic stuff. On Lymore Avenue by the Hollow. I want you to have it. If I can't be with you. That's far too kind of you. You probably shouldn't go yourself. That neighborhood's a bit rough. I'll tell Harold. Don't tell him it's me. Obviously. You're very generous. He is being what generous. What is he up to? Yeah. Exactly. What's his motive? I mean, that is very, very generous. Okay, now that we've got through all that, we can start going through these houses. And there is actually a process to get to the next district as well, so... But I'll explain um, that when we come to it. I've emptied out my inventory as well. Well, when I say emptied out, I've got rid of an awful lot of stuff. So... Oh, yes. Now, in these... <coughs> excuse me, in these ruined houses, I assume it's these you find things that are quite necessary. Okay, it's not this one. Uh, let's just go this one. Come on. Okay, now which one is it? Nope, not this one obviously. That's alright. Let's get through there. Ah! Good, I thought yes, I knew it was on one of these. Okay, let me explain this. Um, okay, for I uh, will show you for constant gardeners. <coughs> excuse me. You will need a Neximide pill. It is required. It is. I'm being really serious. It's a prerequisite. <coughs> You'll get told to go on that you to go and find one. So you need to do that. And the only way to do is by searching the houses. So. Now we've got that, we'll go through all the other houses, but now we can actually do that. It's a three part, um, it's a three, there's a, it goes through three stages, that side mission. Um, bit of traveling involved. I just thought, thought I'd explain that. I knew we would find in one of these houses. You do need it, so, oof. Excuse me. I hope I've said pronounced that correctly. Next in my <clears throat> It's surprising, I do have a decent knowledge of medication. Um, I come from medical families, it ha ironically enough. Um, I mean, I don't know all the effects, obviously, but I have a general idea, so... Maybe it's because I've watched a lot of medical programs growing up. Tends to be the case, doesn't it? Okay, three jump. 
Well, that was a bit anti anticlimactic, wasn't it? <laughs> so jump to expect one of those, you know, great leaps, but it wasn't quite that spectacular, but never mind. And, oh yeah, it's just good. we're in the same direction, aren't we? Ooh, careful. Careful, go! Oh, careful. There should be something up. Well, there might be. There's no guarantee. Let's cut. Right, nothing in there. That's alright. Best to check anyway. Let's go there next. Every little bit helps. Anything around here? Nope. Well, at least I checked. That's the main thing. Just quickly save it. Ah, uh, then we'll go to this one here. Because the next mission. Oh. Yes, keep walking. Keep walking. Thank you. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't think it matters if we do that next mission at day or at night. Look, if we need to do it at day, I can always fast forward time. It doesn't really make any difference, frankly. At least we have our key ingredient. Let's go to this one. Shoot down there. Get out. Thank you. What I'll probably do is switch it so that for the last part in that mission, um, it's right before daylight. So, <coughs> excuse me. So the other missions do do that, that we do during, they actually do during the day. So, this makes no difference. Right, let's get the stairs and jump. That's such a quite good. Ah! Neil's another one. Okay. Thank you. Is that all? Is it? I think so. Let's just double check. Don't fall. Oh. That wasn't too bad, actually. Good job. Down. Okay. Alright, well, that's. That's all of those then. <coughs> Excuse me. So. What are we next to? So we haven't been to this shelter for a while, have we? So let's <coughs> let's hightail it over there. Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> Instead of trying to save, I go to the menu, go to the inventory. Ah, oh, fantastic.
Let's collect some plants along the way. I wonder if people actually hear that in their dreams. I wonder. You know, when they're on, while they're on the, in their joy state, or on the hat, on the pill, whichever way you want to put it. One sounds slightly worse than the other, admittedly, but anyway. <laughs> Depending on what trail of thought you're on, I would, I would imagine. Yes, it's surprising what people. I can't keep doing this. What people have in their trail of thought at times. So that's the only reason why I'm saying, mentioning it, mentioning it like that. <laughs> oh dear. Be a little bit careful around here. Key walking. Key walking. Oh, actually, should be all right. Alright, so... Let's put the rest of the stuff in the stash. Ah, we're probably not going to need... Don't think we need that, do we? No, we don't, actually. Ah, <clears throat> uh, we don't need a torch at this exact moment. So we'll put that away. Okay, let's put all the rest of these away. I'll keep the next in my pills. I don't need one, but Excuse me, I've got over a hundred pounds um, in the inventory that we can fill, so I'm not really that concerned Just at this moment. Okay, so oh, that's going to be for that, isn't it? So that's there. Uh, <clears throat> these six. Let's. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, let's. Hopefully, now the war should work. Hopefully. So. Sweet dreams, Arthur. Now, I'm assuming you can do it in the morning. I know it's just tomorrow evening, but it technically a bit at night because you can do it at 2 o'clock in the morning, actually. So. Excuse me. So, we'll see if we can do it hours before dawn otherwise we'll just go back and switch the time over no big no big deal frankly I don't see it being a so, so much of a problem anyway come on become a stamina Arthur seriously let's collect some non such while we're on en route might as well. Watch out for waste rules as well. Berserk waste rules. That's what cool. Um, in case you weren't sure. Yo, I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Trust me, the way you designed Arthur, you're in shape. You just don't have a lot of stamina. There is a difference. Okay, so we actually have to come at night, not in the morning. Okay. Fair enough. Well, now we all know. I wasn't sure if we could do that. I know you can go up to about midnight. Um, well, it doesn't kill you. I. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I know it's 
does specify in the evening, but considering you can go at midnight, it's still, you know, it oh, still works. Old. Um, I thought I'd just test it out. Um, now we all know that that li is literally the case. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. That's alright. Sometimes it doesn't always mean as mean as literal as it states, so sometimes it's just best to check. So this time we'll go at about um what's the night Okay, well you not know screw it, we'll do another the other the other mission at night, who cares? I'm assuming you can do it at night. Otherwise you'll be doing a lot of running around, but never mind. Now, this one, we're going to do with this one. <sighs> oh, your, your move, move Sandman. Sandman. It's our move, is it? Uh, Sandman? Ah, <coughs> oh, excuse me. God, I must have a lot of toast. I must have some crumbs stuck in my throat today. Just wonderful. Yes, I'm going to be completely OCD about the saving, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. I wonder if you ever figured it out. Why I wasn't on the train. Oh yes, that's reminded me. Um, while you're wandering around, Arthur says lots of interesting things, and he actually did, does mention, um, I've completely forgot to mention this, but he does mention that Percy, um, is actually 31. And since Arthur's about 34, so he's actually three years older than Percy, so... Except for the night. We would never know the stars. I suppose that's true, in a sense. Well, I don't know. It looks pretty... I'll tell you what, it looks pretty bloody black um, when it storms and everything like that during the day. So... But I get, I get his point in that sense. I mean, that's hence for stargazing, so... Let's go around here, because I'm pretty sure this is the last one. So here. You changed your mind. Harold's dead. That's terrible. Who did it? He didn't come back from the hardware shop. Oh god. It's rougher than I thought, I guess. Was it you? Was it me? I want you to swear it wasn't you. I swear it wasn't me. I couldn't be with you if it was you. I swear by the gods of my people, it wasn't me. Kiss me. Please, kiss me. Ah. Oh. I suppose we won't need all of this. Well, that's a happy ending. Except for Harold, I suppose. <laughs> that's true, actually. Cleaver! That seems very, very suspect if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, really, it does. 50 coins, nice. Look at all these names. Wow. Quite the courtship place, I'd imagine. I think we've got seven? Or do we have more? Just double check. We've got seven. I don't think we can put... No, we just one off. That's, that's not an issue. Okay. Constant gardens. Uh, we're out. Right. So let's head down there then. I did think I used to run a hundred meters. With our Neximide pill in hand. Hey, get over it. Thank you. My, get off it. Come on. Now this this mission here's a three part. I assume we could do it in night time. I don't think it would matter. I could be wrong. Now don't worry, that awful sound is not a berserker wastrel. Don't worry about that. 
They're all rotten. All the veg have gone off. I told you the blight would get them. I'm afraid to dig up any more of our food. It'll just go off the moment it hits the air. But, but, but how are we going to eat? I, I think I saw a rat in the grass. Maybe we can make a trap? Well, that'd be a nice change. Ooh. He looks awful. I guess you help him. It's a little embarrassing since I just snuck in here. You there! <laughs> Have you got an Neximide? My husband ate something horrible. Oh, I did pronounce it correctly. Neximide. Here you go, mate. I, I hope, hope you, you like better. this sort of thing. You're a lifesaver. I was about to lose last night's dinner. I thought you already Listen, did. Listen, we've got some decent stuff in this crate of ours. But we haven't been able to get it open. If you could just pry it open for us, you can have one thing from it. Any one thing. That fair? And you can take all these rotten veg we've dug up, if you want them. They're all exactly the same thing. They're all exactly the same. You're a decent sort, aren't you? Maybe there's something else you could do. A strange man ran off with my diary. If you could get it back... How would I find it? He laughed at me. And he said he was going to hide it in his toiletries. I don't even know what that means. All right, so if I run into any toiletries, I'll look for a diary. All right. Now we can have all the rotten fruit we can find, so let's go and do that. Because this is useful for crafting things, so... Now, if only if you're wondering, can we get any of the other <coughs> bits of bread or can we only carry one? Yes. If we do all three of the quests here, we can retain all three pieces of bread. That's the way to complete it, so... Just wanna... Okay, so let's go and find... Now, as you'll find out shortly, Save a bit for the next minute. there's a bit of play on wording happened. That's been happening. <clears throat> but I'll let you, I'll let you work that out for yourself. Let's just go this way. Well, that's it. Run into the fence. Fantastic. Oh, of course, I didn't say the damn thing, didn't I? <coughs> oh, no, excuse me, God. Those crumbs are killing me today. Toast is both a curse and good for you. <laughs> the crumbs are the curse. Curse of the crumbs. I like the sound of that. Bit ironic, really. <laughs> They're there, but we will extract oh things. Should get special machine parts. Oh, that's no, sorry, not special. Advanced machine parts. There we go. That's what the the special ones are from. That Trees other mission. with toilets. That doesn't make it. Oh. They're toilet trees. Hang on, I wonder if they're hiding Mrs. Flower Juice's diary. <laughs> See, told you. Play on words. Stick up this guy and take him down. Oh, please just lie down. Can I just borrow this? Anything over here? Take. No. What an odd place for a toilet. 
Seriously. Well, it's good for the environment, I'd imagine, so... You know what she said? Not to read it, but I'm sorry it's good for... You know. I'm sure... I'm sure some of you would... Some of... Say, that's it. Some of, some of you will read it, so... <coughs> April 1st. This morning my garden had turned to weeds, where once lilacs grew like reeds. I took a second joy at noon, and once again my garden plumed. Plumed. Bloomed. Oh, God. There's my wording out the window. Not really a poet, so bear with me. The third. My poor sister, she loved her flowers so, if only had she had joy, but they developed it too late for her. What was her girl's name again? Sandy? Sally? Oh goodness, what am I talking about? It's time for my joy. Oh, was she friends with um, Sally Boyle? Our friend in the ca our friend in this uh, story. <coughs> Sixth. Did I have a sis? Did I have a sister? I must have written down a dream. Relief, my joy's working. Been spotty lately. The tenth. The rain. The rain that raineth every day. It raineth every single fucking day. The twelfth. A three joy afternoon and a bit of a headache. The whole world smells like soup. <laughs> okay, right? Thirteenth. Is this how it starts? My joy feels so small. I wake up shaking and don't know why. The downers in the garden district. Are they like me without a smile? Fifteenth. Never, 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 never! Pray you, undo this button. Thank you, sir. Do you see this? Look on her. Look, her lips. Look there, look there. Oh, uh, oh, oh. I hope I've said that part right. <coughs> Excuse me. Sixteenth. Roof and Miss. Roof and Mrs. Flower Drew. I remember, remember, remember. Their little faces in the garden. Oh, God, I remember them all. Ugh. Sounds somewhat slightly sinister. Mind you, at some point we all have some bad memories of some kind. So, some worse than others. It's just how we cope, isn't it, really? Right, collect this one. Do this. We'll laugh about this later. Come on, Mr. Stamina. Don't go down on me now, thank you. Uh, where's the bloody entrance gone? Oh, there it is. Good. This is for you. Oh, thank you. You didn't read it, did you? It's just a bunch of silly thoughts. Please, please, take something else from the crate. But remember, only one thing. Well, you know, for our story, you know, fill up time and for good reading sometimes. Oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> oh yes. Please save it. <coughs> Excuse me. Speak with Humphrey? What's wrong, Listen, mate? You've been so helpful to us. I, I lost a very important letter. It blew into the mine and I... Oh, this is silly, I, but I'm afraid of going underground. Do you think you could go down and get it for me? Sure. It's actually under here.
Humphrey Nuns. What's up, mate? From Howarth Laboratory. Okay. <coughs> right. Dear Mr. Repton, I have received your letter of March 29, 29th expressing your concerns about your friend, Marguerite. You have done the right thing by writing to me. It is indeed troubling that her joy no longer works as it should. However, your timing is quite fortunate. Howarth, well, how, bleh, bleh. Howarth Laboratory is beginning an experimental treatment for citizens, citizens with exactly your friend's condition. Really? We believe the cure is a simple matter of adjusting her dosage of joy, or perhaps switching her to a different flavour. <laughs> okay, different flavours, different effects. I suppose Stranger Things are possible. Actually, that is a true thing in medicine as well. Anyway, if you and your friend will kindly present yourselves at Howarth, Howarth Laboratory during business hours, our staff will be happy to admit Mrs. Flower Drew to a clinic for treatment. Sincere regards. Dr. Anton Verloc, PhD. <coughs> P.S. The anxiety expressed in your letter suggests that perhaps you you yourself may need a topping up of joy. We would be delighted to admit you to our experimental program as well as a preemptive measure. <coughs> really. Now, when I say about the different flavour, <coughs> that's very commonly true, um, especially about painkillers and all this sort of thing. Not everyone is. Some people are allergic to some things, not others, so, yeah, <coughs> all different things. I even believe for types of anxiety medication as well, so, because I know there's different things that have different effects on your mood, so, <coughs> not that I take it personally, but I know people who, you know, have mentioned there's different forms for different um, effects, things that affect uh, your mood in different ways, so... Ironically enough, you think, oh yeah, yeah, that'll fix this. Yeah, but these things have side effects, unfortunately. <laughs> Not everything is foolproof in medicine, but they try. Here you go, mate. You're so much braver than I am. Go ahead and take another thing from that crate over there. But just one thing. Well, there's no more in here anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? <coughs> ah, we're ten. Excellent. Okay. I'm not going to get any of these. Um, I could get that one, but I think this would be quite a good one for a chain sweep. <coughs> we don't have many weapons that do the bleeding effect, and I don't have a Jolly Broly at all. So, I've tried getting one, I can't get anything to it. Anyway, I think chain sweep would be most appropriate, considering the, amount, the variety of weapons we have at our disposal. <coughs> Alright, so... Let's... Okay, now. We've got all these done at long last. So let's head back to here. Then we can cross back into the parade. Which then means that... We go... Oh, God, where the hell is it? Yeah, we've got to take this one here. Let's just jump down here, because we've got to head back to our hideout and cross the bridge. Now, when you're crossing the bridge, I highly recommend you don't actually need too much. I mean, it keeps some things naturally, like your health and everything like that. Um, there's no harm in keeping them. 
but I highly recommend, in fact, you will need um, your gas mask for when you're crossing the bridge. Um, I will explain when we get there. You're thinking, why the hell would we need our gas mask for crossing the bridge? Isn't it safe? Well, unless you want to be topped up, be full of joy when you're crossing the bridge, I would suggest that. Okay. What? You can't kill all of He's got to... Thank Let you, Auto Say. God, that was such a yeah, time. They are. Get them. Oh, shit. Come on. Yes. All right. Actually, let's save this quickly. <clears throat> We're not going to need this. <clears throat> Don't need any of these sorts of things right now. <clears throat> this okay I'll put that into the sash as well while we're at it Going to oh yes that's because we can't switch our clothing over <coughs> she's meant to equip our proper shoes let's cross over to Maiden home. I still don't know if I assume that is German. I've no idea what it means. <laughs> if you do happen to know what that the tra translation is, please um, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to know. Good old under. Hasn't changed since old George V. Okay, classical, that is. Right, let's go to that bridge. Oh my god, we do not need this many things. Good god. Shops at the water, let's get rid of the. Well, for now, let's get rid of that. Joy boot do not need those. Okay. Okay, we need <clears throat> Screw it goes to the end. I can't keep doing this. <sighs> and turn left. Ah, uh, screw it, let's put, activate the sunshine. Just for the sake of it, I really cannot be bothered running around the other way. So I'd like to get us to the next hatch. Did? Oh, damn, we haven't got a boiler suit with us. I hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. <clears throat> oh, crap. I've just remembered that we actually need our um, bloody boiler suit. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, we'll go back around and go come back the other way then. Oh, my god. <laughs> Save a bit for the next minute. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, God, I'm choking. Ah, fantastic. <laughs> um, now 
I did say why or what I meant by all the joy. Um, and crossing that bridge is not very simple in a gas mask. Well, I might as well tell you, because since we are going to do it this episode, is we have to play a gigantic version of Simon Says. So, <laughs> prepare yourself for that. Uh, where is it? Need a boiler suit. Screw it, I'll switch that on. Now, we'll actually equip that where we're in there, just in case it wants to shock us. I won't do it yet. Okay, so take this one, go to the left. No worries. Left there. <laughs> right, let's equip our boiler suit while we're at it. We should just be now. They do actually let council workers do these sorts of things, so. I hope I can convince the nice bobbies to let me fix their bridge. All right. I'm sorry, sir. The bridge is not currently functioning properly. Best come back in a few days. I know. I'm here to see what's wrong. You from Central, then? That's right. What's wrong, sir, is the bloody electricity's in and out. Well, the bridge works are supposed to function properly even when the power is inconsistent. Haven't you read the manual? Well, sir, I will let you get onto the bridge without further ado, then, sir. Well, that went surprisingly well. That did. Last time I had to bribe and wipe my way past them. Input the code. Perfect. We had a dog, didn't we? When we were young, before the war. His name was... Stripe. Stripe. Okay, let's get ourselves some... Let's uh, pop another sunshine, just so we can get through this part. Okay, now, big important thing, gas mask, and for the electrical side of things, you'll understand what I mean. So, welcome to a gigantic version of Simon Says. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy. Oh yes, can we you? can. Happiness is a choice. That is to avoid getting affected by Simon joy. Simon says, step on two platforms. So that's why I say, wear the gas mask, otherwise you get infected with joy in automatically whether you want to or not. That's why I'm wearing the, cat, the rubber cat suit. To absorb the electricity, I recommend it. Oh yes we can! Step on three lit platforms. Ha 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 I didn't say Simon Says! Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms! Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy! You can never have too much I'll joy. I'll piss off the good joy. We don't Happiness need it. Happiness is a choice. 
Yes, it is a choice. Not one that we need. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says step on all the lift platforms. Going this way? Okay, we will now unequip our suit, we'll go back to our proper, and we will unequip the gas mask. Maiden, the bridge to the parade will be, there's just one more bridge, and then I'm in the parade. And one more bridge after that, and I'm finally out of Wellington Wells. Hooray! Okay. Oh, you are good. All right. We're going to do this mission. The bloody hell. <coughs> There's two in here, so we'll quickly do this one. Because then at least we're centered. Oh god, where the hell is it? Uh, let's just go this way. There are some side missions, not as many. But as always, we will get into this one here that way it is a start off point um, so it's basically our official way of entering the district then we can go from there oh hang on a minute oh it's the other side okay no worries oh, excuse me Okay. Oh, that smells awful. Okay, let's equip our gas mask again. And fatal. I think you should excuse yourself. <laughs> I'm making a fart joke to a pipe. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Now, do we get a repair kit? Otherwise, I'll just craft one. Alright, never mind. We will just craft... Uh, do I have... No, we'll just craft one. Easier. Well, now in just a few weeks, all this gas should just kind of waft out of here. <laughs> So, all right, we've done that one, so... So we need to turn on the power first. Do you like clean air, sir? Oh, yes, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people, have a sense of humor. Okay, now the other way to unlock this without using lockpicks is go back up here. Back up here. Because you can go through the back way without wasting any more lockpicks. Unlock. And activate the hatch. Good. Now I won't need to cross bridges to get here. After the bombings, I thought we all learned when to put on our gas mask. All right. Welcome to St. George's home. Um, I will. Next time, I will have briefly. Ex I will have unfogged the map around St. George's home, found some missions, and we will meet up with Sally, get the ball rolling, and do some side missions. See you then.